Hey everyone, for this vase I was inspired to use the colors of a galaxy in purple, blue, black, and white. Many people call this type of ceramics agate ware since it has the textures and colors of agates or metamorphic rock. This is part of a series of vases I will create inspired by the colors and textures of space. In this concentration I will explore visual elements of planets, nebula, and galaxies. I began with using cone 5 porcelain and wedging the various colors into the clay. When wedging mason stain, I begin with making a bowl shape with the base clay. I like to add a couple sprays of water to the cup first and then add the stain. The powder can really dry out the clay so I add some water to it and mix it in within the clay bowl. For mason stain, I'm using lavender, wedgewood blue, best black, and crimson red. Once it is mixed to a pudding consistency, I fold the clay wall into the center and over the mason stain. I then finger wedge the color into the clay until it is uniform. Notice the latex began to fall off the gloves. This would later pose a problem in the vase. I suggest purchasing good quality gloves and changing them if they begin to tear. I felt the red needed some violet tones, so I added lavender mason stain to it. Now that I have the colors mixed, I'm ready to mix different intensities of the colors by wedging them into the white porcelain. Mixing the different stains in was the most time-consuming process of the entire vase. I began putting all the colors together by first flattening them and then pressing them together firmly as to not trap any air. I then began wedging them together. I center the clay by pushing the clay up and then flattening it back out 
and repeat this process until the clay feels centered. I wanted to see how the marbling was turning out so I removed some of the slip. You can now see how they are all mixed together. I made the vase a little too wide at the bottom and it started to get away from me, so I formed it back into a cylinder and began shaping it again. I began removing the slip from the inside. And now for the reveal. I began removing the slip from the outside of the vase. To shape the bottom, I used a large ribbon tool to taper the foot. Trimming the vase is one of my favorite parts. I finish the vase with a PZN clear glaze. Thanks for watching everyone. Visit Stone Rose Ceramics on Etsy to see my vases available to purchase.